Repairing truck tyres from 825 through 1200 section widths. The example tyre used in this video is a 295 80R 225 radial construction. Components Control panel Outside heat pad External curing pack and straps Inside heat pad Cylinder airbag Refer to the TRDD application chart to choose the correct components for the tyre size being repaired. When positioning the tyre and laying out the equipment, ensure that it is close enough to the control panel so that there is no strain on either the electrical or air connections. Connect all air hoses to the external curing pack and airbag, tightening securely. It's advisable to back the valve nut up to the air hose after it has been attached. The external curing pack with straps should be laid out with integral straps and inflation hose facing the floor. Buckles and hooks should be adjusted so when the curing pack is in position on the tyre, there is sufficient length for them to be located halfway down the opposite side wall to the repair. When laid out flat, the hooks should be facing the floor at the air valve end of the external curing pack. Before use, it is recommended that the heat pads are preheated to around 50 degrees centigrade or 122 degrees Fahrenheit to increase flexibility and aid installation to the tyre. Connect the heat pads to the control panel power leads. To preheat the heat pads, press and hold the start button on the timer. The temperature controllers will illuminate and show the actual temperature. Wait for both heat pads to reach between 50 to 70 degrees centigrade or 122 to 158 degrees Fahrenheit. Press and hold the stop button on the timer to stop the power. Liberally cover both sides with tyre talc to reduce friction in use, then brush off the excess. Give the heat pad a gentle tap to clear remaining talc. Place the outside heat pad onto the rear of the external curing pack. The labels on the heat pad should be facing up towards you. Lower or roll the tyre into position with the repair area positioned centrally over the heat pad. Ensure that the outside heat pad covers the injury and is positioned correctly. Take the preheated inside heat pad and place centrally over the patched area inside the tyre. Make sure the heat pad's black label is against the wall of the tyre. The top of the heat pad should be one inch above the bead. Place the cylinder airbag centrally behind the inside heat pad. The blue elasticated window should be positioned facing the sidewall on the repair side. Connect the blue airline to the cylinder airbag hose. Switch the incoming air tap to on and partially inflate the cylinder bag by pulling down the slide valve connected to the blue airline. When the cylinder airbag is taking shape, stop the air supply and check the positioning of the bag. The annotated name of the cylinder airbag should be visible on the cover between the beads. Lift the external curing pack up into place and pass the hooks through the centre of the tyre. With the hooks hanging down on the sidewall furthest from the repair, starting from the central strap and working out evenly, bring the buckles up and commence fastening each strap. The straps should be fastened so that buckles are equally spaced and the beads should be pulled together approximately 10% of the relaxed state. Between the beads, check each strap is of a similar tension. Connect the two heat pads to the control panel power leads. Connect both air supply lines, black to the external curing pack and blue to the cylinder airbag. With the incoming air tap open, use the black regulator knobs to adjust the pressure on the left gauge to 50 psi and the right gauge to 35 psi. When in the correct position, lock the knobs off by pushing down to click. 
commence inflation of the cylinder airbag by pulling the blue airline slide valve down. When the pressure is approximately 20 psi, commence inflation of the external curing pack by pulling the black airline slide valve down. Let both continue inflating until the desired operating pressure has been reached. Power up the control panel and hold the start button on the timer. When the temperature on both heat pads reaches approximately 120 degrees centigrade or 248 degrees Fahrenheit, press the set button and the time should start flashing. Press the up and down buttons to adjust to the desired time. Press the set button again to set the desired curing time. The panel will now count down from the desired time. The temperature will continue to rise to 140 degrees centigrade. When the timer has counted down to zero, the curing cycle is complete and the power to the heat pads will be shut down. Disconnect both the inside and outside heat pads. Exhaust air from both airbags by first pulling up the slide air valves to the off position and then after a period of two or three minutes, the quick release couplings may be disconnected from the airbags. Never release the buckles on the harness until the air is exhausted from all the airbags. Release all the buckles and remove all the components from the tire. Points to remember. Always thoroughly dust both back and front of both heat pads with talc before use. Do not lift the heat pads with the leads. Ensure correct orientation of the heat pads. It's essential to use a suitable lug void filler when using OTR tires. Never leave the equipment unattended. The power supply must be disconnected at the end of the working day. A better finish can be achieved by allowing the repair to cool below 100 degrees centigrade before releasing the airbag pressure. Monoflex Tire Repair Systems. 40 years of industry leading repair solutions. Monoflex offers complete repair solutions for any size tyre, quality components, exceptional durability and first-class global support and training. If you need further assistance, don't hesitate to get in touch via mail at monoflex.com or visit our website monoflex.com. <laughs>